Hello guys, welcome back to Inspire to DIY. In today's video, I have three ideas or ways you can change any old vase or your thrift store vase. Stay tuned for the end result and let's get started. To get started, I'll go ahead and start with this beautiful vase that I got for a very low price at the thrift store. And the first thing I'll do is clean them and next I'll go ahead and give them a nice coat of spray paint and I'll be using this candy paint gloss one. And once they're dry, I'll go ahead and take a plate, some glitters, and this is the first idea. You can change any old vase by simply using paint and glitter to give it a nice shine. I mixed all the glitters together just because I wanted it to be spread out on the vase very evenly rather than sprinkling them each after the other. Next, we also need some Mud Podge and a paintbrush. Next, I'll go ahead and start brushing up some Mud Podge on the face before sprinkling down my glitter. And this will be done in small section just because you do not want the glue to be dry before you sprinkle the glitter. Glass could also be used for this idea if you want it to have more texture. Be sure that all the part of the face is covered with the glitter because you want to have a uniform look. and move to the second phase. For the second idea, we'll be using this beautiful vase once again, a turf star fine, and I'll go ahead and spray paint it white. Once that was dry, I took some white paint, some rose gold, and some gold paint and mix them together for earth tone mixture. I sprinkled the vase white first because I wanted to have a blank space to work on. Once my paint was at a color that I wanted, I then started painting the vase and this color is so beautiful. I was going for a more earth tone, champagne vibe and I think definitely it was done. Once I noticed there was a pattern to the vase, I went on and started doing my painting going that way. When I realized about thrift shopping, you can find the most beautiful piece of art or even those large, beautiful, tall vase at a very cost-effective price. And you can ever go wrong with that. Definitely, if you can change them by simply adding paint or using any other ideas to make that vase your own. I 
I gave the face a total of 3 coats and I allow it to dry for about 10 minutes before the next one. Once the face was dry, I took some jewelry border stickers and a good head and put it all around the top part of the face. I followed the line that were already at the top of the face. Just a side note, if you wanted to have a glossy finish, you could definitely use the gloss mat patch and brush it around the face. This is so beautiful. And for the last idea, we'll be using this beautiful tall red vase that I'll go ahead and give a nice coat of white paint. And we will be trying the hydro dipping. So I took a tub full of water and I started by spray painting all my paint onto the water. Although my first time doing this idea, but I think I really love it just because you can play with all the different colors. And be sure to do this in a well ventilated area and wear a face mask as well as gloves. Once you are satisfied with your pattern, you can go ahead and just dip the vase right into the water and make sure that all the paint is covering it. Then just set it aside and allow it to dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. At last, to cover the rim a little, I'll be adding clutch glass. And for that, we'll need clutch glass, mud patch, and a paint brush. Now let's go ahead and look into our three ideas. I hope you guys found this video useful and learned a thing or two from it. If so, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you have not, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my next projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.